Hey guys, it's Jamin with PC Monkey bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, today we have an HP laptop here. We're going to show you how to swap out uh, a large key uh, on here. Uh, sometimes with these French inset keyboards, if you lose a key or a key pops off or breaks, you think you can just open this up and replace your keyboard, but this keyboard, they're usually not held on with screws. Um, a lot of them are French inset keyboards, they're just plastic rivets. It's a one-shot deal only. So when you pull that keyboard up to replace it, the new one you put down is never going to be as tight, it's never going to be as secure, um, it's, it's going to always be loose. So for that reason, a lot of people, when a key breaks, what they choose to do is purchase a used keyboard on eBay or Amazon, if they can't find a loose key for sale, uh, and then they take a key off of that keyboard and they put it on their, their one that they're using. So we're going to show you how to take a large key off and then put a large key on safely. If you're looking for how to do a normal size key, there's a link in, in, in the description. Uh, we have another video showing you how to do one of these normal keys. Uh, but the larger keys look a little different inside, so we wanted to do another video for that. Now, what you'll need is a small flathead screwdriver. That's, that's kind of all you need. Um, and I'm going to go after the enter key. I'm going to take off my enter key. I'm going to show you how it looks under there. And that'll be generally how all these large keys look. Backspace, shift, uh, enter, spacebar, uh, cap locks. All, all the large keys will look like this. So what I'm going to try to do is take my uh, flathead screwdriver, slide it underneath my key cap, which is this top part, but get it on top of the retainer clip underneath. And that's the tricky part. Uh, is Because you can't see what's going on down there, but you've got to get it in between these two components. So I'll zoom into the enter key and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing as I attempt to take off this enter key safely without breaking it. My camera zooms in pretty slow. All right, so let's go after the enter key under my retainer clip. Okay, all the way through, take it off. All right, so. All right, so I took that off safely. There's two retainer clips. See, on one of these normal keys, uh, there would only be one of these black retainer clips, but on the large keys, there's two. So yours will look very similar th to this. Um, depending on what model computer you have, it, it'll have small changes, but they'll all be the same. You'll all have a little bouncy rubber thing in the middle. You'll have two retainer clips on either side, and you'll have one or two metal stabilizer bars, as you can see here. There's the one on top, and there's the one on the bottom. Uh, also, in these retainer clips, they'll all be laid out in kind of the same way. You'll have four metal pins near each four corners, just like you see here. That's what's holding these clips down. Uh, so in order to take these clips off safely, uh, the, the metal bars are easy to take off. They just slide it into holes on either side, so you just pull it out. But the retainer clips are hard. This is where you'll break it. So what you want to do is locate the metal clips in the corners that are nearest to the edge. So in our case, these are the top ones right there. See how they're closer to the edge? They're closer to the corners than these are. So we're gonna go after those. The way we're gonna take these off is they're very tight. There's not a lot of room, not a lot of wiggle room, but I'm gonna try to push up on it as much as I can to get as much wiggle room as I can while gently prying off or prying out the plastic from under those metal clips. Be very careful. This is where you'll break it. And if you do break it, it it's not gonna be very secure. So I'm gonna push up, gently pry it off. Oop, got the one. Now I'll go to the other side. Giving me a hard time on camera figures. All right. Did I break it? No, I don't think I did. Okay. All right, so I didn't break it. As you can see here, each hole is still nice and closed. If I would have broken it, one of these top portions would have been broken right through and there wouldn't be anything on top. So luckily I didn't break it. Now to install it, after you've taken it off safely, you would do that to the other one as well. We're gonna put it in the reverse way of, of how we took it out. So we took it out by prying the top part off first. We're gonna put it back in by putting the bottom part down first. So get that in there, set it down where it needs to be, and make sure that those two bottom metal clips are, are where they should be. And once you get it all centered and in there well, you should be able to just push down on the top and snap it in.
there. So that snapped in. That may take you a, a few tries. I, I, do, I do this a lot. Um, when I first started doing key repair, it was the thing I hated the most about computers. I would rather switch out a motherboard than do a key repair because um, it's so finicky and I broke them so often. Um, but it may take you some time. Now the hard part with the big keys is those snap into place just so exactly into place. These metal bars, not so much. They're kind of free floating in there. You just got to eyeball it, get them kind of centered, and then try to get your key on top, snap it into place. Hear all that snapping? All that snapping is it's snapping into both retainer clips and both stabilizer bars. So it's a lot of snapping. But if you get everything nice and centered and everything where it should be, it snaps on very easily and your entry key is fixed. Now again, that applies to any of the larger keys. Um, the stabilizer bars may be larger in the space key, for example, but they'll all generally be laid out in the same way. If you have any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, we'll try to get back to you at least a couple times a day. If you're seeing multiple keys are going bad, like they're not working when you use them, it's probably not the key, it's probably your keyboard. So you may have to switch it out or switch out your palm rest. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, please like and share. If you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.